Good morning everybody and this is your DAX Day Trade Setups for today. A little bit late to see the first round of videos didn't have sound so um, we'll just redo them for you quickly. Uh, so pretty much we have a bounce of a level on the daily and that level for me is 15,796. Uh, that's kind of the, the structure that we can see to the left and that's definitely what I'm paying attention to at the moment. So right now I'm looking for to be buying off the pullback. Now this was an after hours move so we need to just be a little bit cautious about it and if we just get back to the three hour you'll see a very well defined channel there it is there and remember the DAX loves channels that is also a flag to me so here's the bull move up retest of the 155 on the three hour nice pin bar it wasn't quite structured enough for me I'd like to see it above the uh, 155 EMA but the important thing here is the oscillators have crossed over and uh, are almost above the 20 at the moment so I am looking for structure to buy off uh, simple as that if we drill down to the one hour what we need to pay attention to we do have some gaps to the downside so um, it just gets the lower part of my range or oh, sorry the upper end of my range so um, these are the two levels I would be paying attention to I don't really want to be buying in here I'd rather wait for a pullback and I'm looking for a higher low so at the moment we've got a engulfing pattern here you can see we gap below the red bar and we closed above the 50 percent quite a bullish pattern followed by a pin bar another bullish pattern so uh, relatively bullish there but you know typically V reversals happen off a pin bar um, so you know that's kind of the only time that you really see uh, V reversals happening uh, so I would expect some kind of a pullback on the structure and uh, 15838 is the first one and then 15796 is the next one um, the only thing that's going to mitigate that is a break above a current high of today so uh, I often talk about the London breakout strategy in my Forex videos well there is also a DAX breakout strategy which uh, takes the first hour of trading uh, and that becomes your range and then if you break above it you, you're long and if you break to the downside you're short so for me at the moment I'm not really keen on any downside um, trades at the moment so I'm not looking for any shorts the oscillators are a bit overbought on the 15 minutes at the moment so I'd be looking for structure I want to see pullback on the structure I want to see a higher low and I also want to see a trend line hold there's a trend line there one two I'd like to see a third touch on that and that would give me the confidence so this area here is key for me at 15843 um, if we do break above this 5900 level I want to see a pullback to retest this trend line and then I'd be looking at the longs there so those are the two scenarios at the moment uh, until we break above 5900 or break below 15838 I'm set on hands and even if we do break below 1538 I'll be looking down here at 15796 for an opportunity to get in uh, all that that's going to do is create a low a higher low like that okay so yeah that's kind of the view I've got at the moment remember you've got data coming out tomorrow so uh, yeah, this is looking interesting to say the least uh, if we break this uh, channel it's got a relative, relatively nice target to the previous high and then you have a measured move once you get above that previous high anyway that's kind of my view this morning hope it helps and we'll catch up with you uh, tomorrow cheers for now